So, this week I've moved out of university and I've learned a lot over the last year. I wanted to talk about some of them and give some advice on what to expect from first year in university from, well, an actual student as opposed to people pretending or magazines written by students. So the first thing I'd say is at the start of the year when you're looking at universities don't be afraid to join some Facebook groups and group chats for the courses you're thinking of doing. At the same time as well then, don't be afraid to meet some people at in the same city that you're planning on going to university. I met several of my friends over the summer just before the course started and I only grew closer friends with them through the year. Though, and it does help getting to know people before just because it Especially if you're moving further away, it helps to get that feeling of you're not the only one, if that makes sense. You're not the only fish out of water, there's other people there, and having a familiar face around can make the entire process a lot easier. Uh, secondly, I'd recommend get to know your flatmates. Personally, I didn't have the best relationship with them, and it made things a little bit awkward through the year. Now, I will admit that's both ways. I didn't make much of an effort with them, but likewise, they also didn't make much of an effort with me. However, if at the start of your year you start to eat in the kitchen rather than your rooms, just a friendly hello, you'll be surprised how quickly you can get on with people. And if you do have differing interests, that's okay. It happens. You're adults now. Speaking of being an adult, Try not to miss lectures in university. There's not a lot of pressure to carry on with university, um, especially lectures, because as they consider it, you're an adult, it's off your own back to go. However, it's a very slippery slope once you start missing lectures. You miss a lecture one week, then you think, well, nothing happened because I didn't go last week, so I can miss this week. But at the same time, it's also okay to miss some lectures. If things happen, it can't be helped. And most universities at this day and age have an online storage to put notes and PowerPoints. Even some courses record the lectures. So you can really feel like you're not missing out on much. Um, another one someone told me was keep an eye on plastic bags when you go shopping. You'll be surprised how quickly they can accumulate, especially when you hide them under your bed. You can come to moving out and suddenly you're surrounded by them and you have more plastic bags than possessions. Uh, and similarly to the shopping, learn to love own brand. When you go shopping, buy Tesco's own brand. Buy Tesco's own brand tes uh, pasta. It's a lot cheaper and it tastes exactly the same. Or Tesco's own custard creams, they're 45 pence for pack for two rows in the pack. You really can't go wrong. Uh, in university, it's a very good time to try new things. Whether it's grow that bit of facial hair people always tell you will look bad on you, join societies, try a new hobby, or start that YouTube channel you always said you were going to start. When you're in university, it's your time to be independent. And when you're independent, you really start to learn who you are. But the best way to learn who you are is by trying things that put you outside of your comfort zone. And if you try things that fall outside the group that you, of friends you've already made from the course or your flats, that's okay. You can have multiple groups of friends. Again, you're an adult now. You're not... Uh, you're not expected to cling to two or three people for three years, four years, however long your course is. Speaking of being an adult, for the love of God, learn to budget. My best advice I've got for this is, it sounds boring, but at the start of the year, work out how much student finance you've got. Work out how much you've got per week. Then, if it's over £100, cut it in half. You can live off 50 to £60 pound a week. If it's under £100, pound, that's also okay. Just knock 
20 to 30, depending on how close to 100 you are. It's more just so you've got that safety bracket around you, if need be. It's better to have the money there so you can enjoy your summer holiday than to realise you've got to start cancelling plans because you blew it all during freshers. At the same time, learn to cook. It's very tempting to run to Tesco's or Lidl's or Co-op and buy a one pound pizza, throw it in the oven, but if you learn to cook now, it will make it easier, well, to make friends with your flatmates. You can do big pot meals. Um, it's cheaper as well in the long run. You can buy a kilogram bag of pasta at the start of the year and it'll last you till about Christmas time if you're the only one eating it easily. And yes, that bag of pasta will cost 12, 13, 14, 15 pounds, but you're buying it once. Uh, and again, that goes hand in hand with budgeting and buying own brand stuff. The other thing to consider is just how quickly things go off. Bread goes off very, very quickly. You can open it Monday and it'll be mouldy by Friday. Fortunately, that's not from personal experience, but it happens. And finally, I just want to say, keep to the deadlines, but don't be afraid to approach tutors, friends, student counselling, whatever is in place in your university, if you are starting to struggle. They're there to help you. Yes, I've rattled on about being an adult, but at the same time, this is most likely your first time you're going to have to handle everything on your own. They don't expect you to get it right all perfectly first time. In fact, it'd be impossible to. No one can. So don't be afraid to reach out. There are people there and it will make your life easier. So that was some quick fire tips for your first year in university. Um, I'm thinking of doing another one of these vlogs soon. Perhaps on housing, how to sort it out. Um, but I'll see the responses to this first. If there's anything else they'd like to be, feel free to leave a comment below. If you feel like there's anything I've missed out, comment down below. Uh, so that's this well. So this is that Welsh nerd, and I'll see you guys in the next one.